The Odeon Cinema opened in 1937 with seating for 2,600 people. In 1972, it became a triple screen cinema and finally closed as a theatre in 1983. This fascinating shot shows Howell Croft South before the multi-storey car park was built. The Octagon Theatre, built in 1967, stands directly where we are looking now. Another site, now gone forever, Howell Croft Bus Station. On to Victoria Square before it was pedestrianised. We can see the Arndale in its early days of construction. One of Bolton's most famous pubs, the Commercial Hotel on the corner of Hotel Street, was closed in April 1972 and demolished later that year to make way for the Mother Care store. Hard to imagine now exactly where we are, as we are now right in the middle of Crompton Place on what used to be Fold Street, which ran from Bradshagate through to what used to be Acresfield. As we walk along Fold Street, we get a view of the town hall from an unusual angle, made possible by the demolition and rebuilding of the properties on Victoria Square. Nelson Square, looking beyond the monument, we can see the Red Cross Hotel. In this shot, taken just a few years later, the hotel and adjoining property has gone. Now the land is occupied by the Sun Alliance House. From this angle, Bradshagate doesn't seem to have changed much since the 60s, apart from the shops. Oh, and of course, you could park your car where you wanted them. Looking down Churchgate, we see the ABC Cinema, or the Capitol as it was previously called up to 1962. It was opened in 1929 and finally closed as a cinema in 1977. John Collier, the window to watch. This shot in the Great Moor Street area was taken before it was closed as a through road to Derby Street. From this angle, what would you see now? A car park and the roadway realigned, bending into Black Horse Street. What Bolton procession would be complete without local celebrity Fred Dibner? If you've enjoyed this video, most of the various clips of film you've seen have been generously contributed by local people of Bolton, without whose help this video would not have been possible. If you have any cine film taken in the Bolton area, please contact us at the address on the inside sleeve of the video, and perhaps we can produce Bygone Bolton.